So we've been at it pretty much all day. You can see our white marks. Believe it or not, it's a lot better. So the point where we're at now is this corner is gonna need some sanding and probably some, uh, some mud work. But for the most part, structurally, the drywall is good. And then uh, I got all my peoples, my inner circle, you know what I'm saying? Clutch Kizzle. We got we got Smitty Jr., you know what I'm saying? We got my cousin, Ja'Cory. I'm tired of y'all little new kids. Young Tevo. And new parents. And we, we in this joint. We in this joint. And we, we getting it done. So, shout out to real friends, man. I got people around me that support me and care about me enough to show up and, and do some dirty work. So, I'm thankful for that. But with that being said, I think for the most part, we're pretty much done for it. We got a little bit more to do, but nothing I'm gonna put on camera. But next step is gonna be a little bit of pressure washing. And I got, where is it at? Oh, right here, actually. We got some kills. Apparently this stuff kills the smoke and odor from, or it kills the odor um, and seals in the odor for anything with like mold, uh, or in my specific case, like smoke damage, things like that. So it's been about three weeks now. So for real, for real, it, it doesn't really smell like smoke anymore. Um, so whatever is left, it'll get sealed in. And then uh, got some plumbing to do, some electric to do, but one step at a time. Mm, look at that. That's what happens inside of the conduit when you have a fire. It comes one wire. It's like a dread. <laughs> all right, so basically today was all about uh, electrical. Uh, this was the corner where the fire uh, did the most damage to the electrical. You can see all that is pretty much brand new and we got new wires running pretty much from uh, here all the way through. All this is new wiring. Same conduit, but new wiring. And then uh, my boy Mike, you know what I'm saying? He's a he's a looter. He, matter of fact, you guys have seen him before in a, in a few videos at the track. Uh, he has a fifth gen, but yeah, he's a uh, he's an electrician. And he's helping me out. And uh, yeah, this this was gonna be a major part of the repair. And so me and him are in here knocking it out. <clears throat> well, he's knocking it out. I'm in, like his apprentice. I'm I'm grabbing tools and screws and stuff. So I'm kind of learning as we're going. But yeah, man, we're getting it done. Um, we're probably a little more than halfway there. Probably almost done, actually. But uh, yeah, all the old wiring, psh, it's crazy. All right, so what we got What we got going on, Mike? So we've got power coming in here um, into this box. We'll go into this whip, we're down to the light switch. When you turn the light switch on, we're gonna bring power to this box, which once the water heater is connected. Not this one, this is old Dusty Krusty, that's that's the new one. Actually, this is for the this is for the light and the fan, and then the other the other leg in here is gonna go directly to the water heater. Got it. Man, look at that! I'm learning something already. Um, I just wanted to come and update you guys. I think since I posted the video originally of uh, when the fire happened, that video was about a week or two after the fire, and now it's been about two months. Um, 
it's been a pretty uh, I don't even know what the word is for it, but it's been a process, man. Uh, I've just been trying to take it one day at a time. I did want to give you guys an update on a few things. Um, one, the shop. Two, uh, for those of you who don't follow me on IG, I have a big announcement. And I think there's a third thing, but I'm just going to show you guys the shop for now. So it may not look like much, but uh, a lot has happened since uh, the fire. I've done a, a, some series of cleaning and gotten some work done. Um, my boy Mike, he's also a looter. Um, he's an electrician, among other things. And man, he helped me uh, pretty much uh, do all the electrical is done. Uh, a new water heater is up there, wired up. That's the old crusty dusty joint. Um, what else did we do? We did a lot of electric work, a lot of cleaning. You can see like where it looks like swirled up. Me and um, a, a few friends, Tevin, um, my barber, uh, his son, basically a bunch of friends and family came in and we actually wiped the entire um, building down. And um, so that was a major step. Um, and then today, uh, Mike actually helped me fix the AC, wire up the um, water heater, and we got one of the lights uh, wired up. We're gonna wait on the other ones because we need conduit, um, some other things. But the AC works again now, and the office, for the most part, was kind of untouched. A little bit of soot got in here, but um, nothing was damaged. So the office is decent. So, so those of you who uh, who supported, and um, I did have a GoFundMe. Uh, matter of fact, my barber set up the GoFundMe for me, and um, donations came in there. And then, uh, like I said, for those of you who have been following me on IG, know that I'm actually going to be giving away champagne. Um, what I did was, if you guys saw me posting about stickers, um, those of you who went and bought a sticker. You actually already know because it's in the description. It actually says that each sticker is going to be one entry uh, towards the giveaway for champagne. Um, so that's kind of one of my big announcements. Uh, I am giving away champagne. Um, I don't have a date yet. I do, I do need to figure a few more things out. The car runs and drives fine. I'm going to show you guys real quick, do a little quick walk around. So the car does run and drive. Uh, starts right up um, and the major thing that I need to figure out from you guys is do we want to keep it like this and just gloss over it or do we want to fix it all the way up and do what I was originally going to do and do the, the desert camo tan which was a surprise obviously in the midst of recording that video the fire happened so Unfortunately, you guys didn't see what it was gonna look like. So I just need to know, do we wanna go with the gloss camo tan or do we wanna Mad Max this out and leave it like this? That's the main question. Um, I do, the only part I need to replace is probably gonna be this piece right here. This is actually the only thing that got damaged, believe it or not. And that's from the heat. Nothing else on the car was damaged. Literally nothing else. So, I got really lucky there. Um, but yeah, you guys let me know if we're leaving the car like this and then putting a gloss coat over it for the Mad Max theme, or do I just go ahead and do my original plan and do the, the desert camo uh, gloss? You guys let me know. Yeah, so if you guys, uh, those of you who bought stickers, I appreciate you guys, man. Um, it's helped a lot uh, between the GoFundMe um, and selling the stickers and just friends, just donating, just outright. Uh, you guys are amazing, man. Um, there's still a lot to be done um, that's still going to cost. So um, if you've already donated, I appreciate you. Uh, may God bless you in ways that you can't imagine. And I understand everybody's not in a position to donate. Uh, or buy a sticker, so you know what I'm saying I'm not nothing against you. I'm in hard times. I wouldn't be able to donate to anybody right now, but 
those of you who did, I appreciate you guys. Um, like I said, the website is live right now, so if you guys go on, uh, click the link in the description, you'll it'll take you to the my store, and you'll be able to buy a sticker. And like I said, each entry, uh, each purchase of a sticker is an entry into the giveaway. Um, I remember what my third thing was. My third big surprise is that when I drop this video, uh, the stickers are gonna be buy one get one free so one purchase gives you two entries um that's my second announcement so i'll probably do that for about two or three days so go take advantage get you a sticker and yeah man don't miss out so yeah we finally at a major milestone turning point you can see got the bathroom is refinished new uh water heater um this these areas still need to be sanded a little bit but for the most part that's done uh we just finished the final day of the electric everything all the burnt wires everything is new new wires ran replaced and we put new led lights super bright and i ran out of connectors we we're going to put one over there but it's prepped for more lights but yeah, pretty much the next phase is paint. Next phase is paint, man. It's gonna be super bright in here. But yeah, that's pretty much where we're at with it. I put the sink in. I still gotta get a water fountain slash like eye wash station or whatever you wanna call it. But everything works and it's exciting. So, about time for this stuff right here. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Mike. You know what I mean? If it wasn't for him, I'd be stuck with no electricity. So, yes, sir. Oh, I got to replace the garage opener, too. But that's about it. <laughs> I like to ride in my two-seater